Okay, hello man gamer here, I'm gonna read from my um book. Uh next story. Espionage Target, the Panama Canal. Snow had covered Manhattan with a blanket of crisp white on the night of December 12, 1937. Well, William Bordenberg, uh, Messinish, and father of Richard Hun spoke of the presses of Adolf Hitler in the New Germany at a meeting of the German American bound, the great central place of York Row and Bernhard Loud. Bernberg Birmingham was leader of the fifteen hundred men of foreign dentists, the US version of Hitler's Nazi stormtroopers. After the meeting the Rough friend Bernberg heard of him uh, of fighting while the Kaiser army, in which was known as the Great War, all were sad the Bernberg stood with black cuffs and neck bands, but little caps with silver bands and black trousers and boots. Listening to the tales which John Batil Young Goal, an officer of the Bond Boat in New Rochester, a New York City suburb, born in Lentz on the Rhine River. Yoko was 51 years of age, perhaps in which felt in the regular gasoline commanders to the United States at the age enlisted in the U.S. Army, was stationed in the Panama Central Canal Zone. Resting military discipline, Yukul deserted in 1914 with, was caught and served 18 months in prison. Despite his criminal record, he resigned in the U.S. Army in 1917 and spent two years during the Great War at Fort Salome, New York. Not to be outdone by William Bergong, his pals, Uncle began bringing his own military experiences as a Ben Fardo, the Panama Canal Zone, and said that he had a complete of the plans at his house. Boning ears picked up, and here was the chance to muddy blow for the fatherland. The Panama Canal he knew was once of the United States' most crucial and vulnerable overseas outpost. The unofficial way by the United States Capitol 1914 cuts across the outside of Panama, Central America, for 51 miles. How many kilometers is that? Linking to the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. The canal sorted a ship voyage between New York City and San Francisco to fewer than 5,200 miles. How many kilometers is that? Previously, a ship making the trip had to sail around the tip of South America, a distance of 13,000 miles. How many kilometers is that? Panama and the Nicosia Armed Forces in the event of war, the east or west warships and troops transports could move to the Atlantic or Pacific, whichever region was being threatened and for less time than had earlier been the case. Early in the morning after the beer drinking session in Yorkville, a Christian German American neighborhood with boning rushing to see Edward Fitz Rosenberg, who was recruited to the assistant Gustavo Chief in New York. Bethel Rosenberg assessed central plans. Rosenberg assured others to get those plans he ordered. We must have them. Boeing Yoko headquarters of the German American bound at 108 East, East 85th Street. These plans you spoke about the other night, they are of great value. The storm 
trooper chief declared. You must produce them. Yoko Ban was bowing under <laughs> Bonong, an undercover agent for the Federal Bureau of Investigation, FBI, was hoping to make a f final killing by selling the colonel fruitful plans to send foreign power other than Germany. It was known that Panama was thick with spies for the Soviet Union, Japan, Italy, and other nations. Yuko was that he would not turn over the plans unless he knew specifically whom he was to vote was the time. Following he told Yuko, uh, Yuko was guard stranger. He was a U.S. citizen that meant kept Yuko a loyal German. Uh -huh. Yuko told him he or whoever mystery man was he currently to Bonang to tell him Yuko refused to turn over the documents. Bonang refused Yuko to uh, tries, uh, to stop and kill him. A few days later, the FBI, perhaps acting on ship over to German American found in New York, picked up William and John. Yuko questioning. First of all, some trained he is now Yuko Anzo. Yuko has and steal the Panama Canal materials. On the morning of March 29th, 1938, the FBI took Rosenberg into custody and confronted him with Yuko and Bonin, replying, There are liars. Rosenberg snapped early. Questioned for many hours, Rosenberg then told that he knew nothing about Gestapo or Ufo there. Told the United States he was formed into charging Roosevelt. The FBI gave him a strict warning not to leave New York City and released him for the time being. Early the next morning, FBI told Rosenberg continued to the north. German loyal St. Louis and had just sailed for a German agent dressed to Pier 86, demanded that the steamship line off his radio St. Louis ask if Rosenberg was aboard. The crew dispatched, but no reply was received. It was clear the FBI man, the Gustafel agent, had abandoned his young wife and child to fend for themselves to protect his own skin by fleeing to Germany. For 10 days, the U.S. Department Tradition posted the failure of the North German Lloyd Line to reply that came a cable from the firm's uh, office in Berlin and told that the First, Rosenberg, a German national, had been discovered as a stowaway on board the St. Louis when the ship was more than halfway to Europe. He had play, paid a, a, a fare. The cable concluded, so we permitted to disembark at Birmingham, just at, like any other passenger. After Rosenberg actually carried with him to Germany a secret plans of the Panama Canal, Rickerson had attained them from Yuko, but threats concerning a hefty cash payment had Yuko truly to these documents in his possession. The FBI never knew for certain. A month after he fled, however, the FBI wrote a letter that Rosenberg had written to a friend, East Rivan, who lived in Manhattan. Rosenberg got it. I have a hero welcome and Rowan, especially the Gestapo. He added that he was proud of what he had done for Nazi Germany in the United States. The letter closed with Hal Hitler. Meanwhile, 2,000 miles south of New York City, a network of German spies also was trying urgently to steal Panama Canal secrets. The high priority of our school codenamed Project 14, the goal, however, to put to uh, of the lifeline and the 
event of war with the United States. Early in 1939, the Emperor in Berlin took been ordered to develop a true proto of Colonel of the ships moving through it. Its offenses ongoing. Surveillance of U.S. military personnel was also a however hotel. Integral operations to Project 14. He would work with Luko Lunenberg, who uh, uh, Denberg, who had been in Panama since 1935 and used his job as manager of Hamburg American Ship Line as a cover. First of the German colony in the Canal region, Brown soon had a network of influential ties. No such a at the time of the Santa Canal, but the U.S. Army were supposed to be ancient during the 1931 as a typewriter repairman. He strolled in out of Fort Lumford, then U.S. military post in the canal zone, with identifying himself the secrets that once held him that was all joked. How do we know you aren't an enemy spy? Both men chuckled. One, on one occasion, Kurdo took with him to Fort Rudolph. Two professional German spies, Hans Schurgel, uh, over was a job at the Hamburg Lloyd Steamship Company in the Panama town of Baloga, and 19 year old. Attractive Lut Lindbergh, Walter German, Gottman, the secret of the German Council, Colonel Rechtenberg, to the friends of the So uh, the guard asked, You got any cameras on you? What on earth would I be doing with a camera? Colonel replied, really? The German spies were waved on past. Instead of going to Kuttenberg, across um, the facility, they like seeing other tourists. They called me to the stop to the photograph and I told Rodenberg the facilities of German Legion and Panama to transmit his reports to Rodenberg. The two Nazi Germany and United States out of Hitler and his overgrown to Bergeron High Command would have available at the fingertips. Uh, photographs referring to on gun batteries, dam blocks, ventilations, and power stations, along with detailed maps of Uncle Sam's accurate heels of his already weak defenses. That's the end of this story. I'll read the next story tomorrow. And uh, thank the veteran, and if you see, uh, I don't know. Just thank them. And I thank them to fight in World War II. For else I wouldn't be free to do this if they didn't. And I say thank you.